Good evening and welcome to the Channel Studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. Dozens of vehicles have blocked key roads across Myanmar's main city of Yangon in order to prevent military and police from moving in on protesters. Tens of thousands of people have gathered in the streets in the biggest protests yet since the coup that has seen Aung San Suu Kyi and other leaders detained by the military. The United Nations is concerned of an imminent clash between the armed forces and protesters. Images have emerged of the police firing rubber bullets and tear gas at demonstrators as additional soldiers have been deployed in cities where protests have been planned. The military junta has guaranteed that it will hold an election and hand over power, and it has accused protesters of violence and intimidation. The United Nations has said it will soon question the United Arab Emirates about Princess Latifa after a video has emerged where she claims to be held hostage. I've been by myself, solitary confinement. Princess Latifa, who is the daughter of Dubai's billionaire ruler Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, has accused her father of holding her hostage in Dubai since she tried to flee the city in 2018 in a villa converted into a jail with no access to medical help. We raise human rights issues around the world, including with our partners um, in the Middle East, including with UAE. UK um, Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab has said that Britain would like to see proof that Latifa is still alive. Thousands of protesters have taken over some of Barcelona's streets in support of a rapper convicted in a free speech case. Pablo Hassel faces nine months in prison on charges for glorifying terrorism and slandering the crown and state institutions over tweets and song lyrics. Mr Hassel has been taken to jail after the police stormed the university where he was barricaded to avoid arrest. Fifteen demonstrators have been arrested and 33 people have been hurt, including 17 officers, because of clashes between protesters and riot police. At least 21 people have died as the winter storm that has brought deadly freezing winds grips the southern and central United States. Millions of people are currently without electricity in Texas as the winter storm has pushed the state's power grid to the brink of collapse. Minnesota has registered temperatures below minus 39 degrees and South Dakota of minus 26. Texas officials have requested 60 generators from the Federal Emergency Management Agency to use in hospitals and nursing homes. South Africa has received its first batch of Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine after the country paused the rollout of AstraZeneca jabs. The Johnson & Johnson single-dose vaccine has shown to be effective in preventing serious illness and death from South Africa's dominant coronavirus variant. 80,000 shots are expected initially as the country will prioritise frontline healthcare workers. Italy's Mount Etna has filled the sky with orange smoke and ash after an eruption. Europe's highest and most active volcano has filled the sky above the Sicilian town of Paterno, with a stunning huge bloom of orange smoke. Overnight, lava could be seen flowing down the side of the volcano. Mount Etna, which is 3,330 metres high, usually bursts into action several times a year. However, the last major eruption was back in 1992. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the channel studios in Lagos.